Sagittarius. Hello. Welcome and welcome back to Monocopsis Tarot. I'm Amira. This is going to be a weekly message for Sag. So wherever you have Sag in your chart, it may resonate, okay? But keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for everybody. So um, it re may resonate for you, but it's not going to be in the same way as it will resonate for someone else who has Sag in their chart, okay? Because it's a general reading. So keep that in mind. Um, if you guys are looking to speak about something more personal to you, you can always reach out to me for a personal reading. My email is in the description box down below. Okay. <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you for being here. Let's get started. Um, we're doing just a weekly message, okay? Just gonna see what comes out here. Such. <clears throat> Don't forget to tap that like button, you guys, and subscribe. Okay. What's going on for Sagittarius, please? Growing up. <laughs> Number 17, which is an 8. Mm, this is like... So you guys' energy. Wanting to grow and experience rejection of perpetual youth. This card reminds me of the temperance card, which like again is your energy. Okay. So there's something here that's causing you to be mature this week. Impossible things working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, and fresh perspective. <clears throat> hmm. Seems forced. Okay. You're, you're, you, yeah, it seems forced. Or you don't seem really um, happy, or somebody's not, okay, happy or excited about whatever this is. But it's kind of like an I told you so. Post a message, please, for Sag. <clears throat> yeah, we have Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. So this is someone who you trust or um, a relationship where trust is involved. But I feel like someone is not happy with the way. It's like, um, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, you know, I, I'm hearing like, like stay in a child's place or... So this is somebody who's older than you, although you are an adult, okay? Feels like this is somebody who's older than you, or this could be you who's older than another individual. Take it as it resonates. But this feels like a family member, okay? Loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, and let God in. So someone needs to let go of control. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> so pretty much I feel like we have two energies here right it's, it's it's like little big brother little sister kind of thing so I mean maybe that's specifically what it is but um it's like an I told you so to stay in a child's place you you're not you don't really know as much as you think you know um I tried to tell you before you went down that path someone is saying this kind of thing okay all right, let's see. Let's throw some tarot in here. Show me Sag, please. Let's clear this up. What's going on here? <clears throat> Could be two masculine energies as well. I'm not sure why I said little sister. Maybe it is. Okay. Could be two masculine, two feminine, masculine, feminine. <sighs> Shucks. We have the full card coming out. Hmm. So you seem really excited about something that you worked hard on, Sag, but there's, um, something has progressed or, or, um, you know, it could be a business, could be your work or, um, 
relationships or yourself in general, right? Your, your own um, self-awareness and, and life trajectory. But nonetheless, I feel like someone is not in agreement with the way that you do things or the decisions that you make or, or vice versa, okay? This could be you who's feeling this way about another individual. I'm seeing it more so as someone else who doesn't agree with what you do. So I'm going to continue to speak in that matter. <clears throat> of speech. Yeah, four of cups and the three of wands, all right? <laughs> but there's a realization here. <laughs> okay, there's a real and this is it. This is in fact the I told you so. All right? I told you you weren't going to be happy in that situation. I told I tried to tell you that you shouldn't go down that path. I tried to warn you that you were not ready for this, okay? But um, you know, maybe ego was in the way. I don't know. All right, what else? <laughs> Interesting. Now someone is not happy. Yeah, death and rebirth. So things are definitely changing. There's a significant transformation here. It's interesting to go from the fool card to the death card because, um, I, I mean, and not to say that everything's been skipped. Yeah, but there's inner turmoil here. There's conflict. All right. Not only on the outside, but there's inner conflict going on. Someone is realizing that a decision that they made may have been impulsive. Maybe they weren't ready for it. Maybe someone was right all along. And it's, there's like this a period of a assessment <clears throat> but the death card also brings about a new beginning it's death and rebirth okay it brings about a significant transformation that allows for a new beginning it's just going to be different than the one that someone is leaving behind or what someone chose before all right this is kind of what's going on this week yeah and like i said i was seeing the temperance card all right so someone is trying to figure out how do i move forward from this How do I take your opinion, take my opinion, and bring it all together? Yeah, Eight of Swords, okay? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, Amira. That's why I'm here, Amira. Okay. Eight of Swords is... <laughs> with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Swords is, is mental imprisonment, all right? This is definitely a, a roadblock. Um, and honestly, it, it, it makes... It makes for this death energy to not happen as easily or as quickly as it could, okay? Because we are in our own way there with the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords energy is, a, look, the High Priest is trying to come out, okay? The Eight of Swords energy is, um, it's an energy of, of, of knowing what we should do. It's just a matter of so many different variables. In this case, it has to do with how are other people going to see me. Okay, that's specifically what we're seeing here. Okay, what's the full card, please, for Sagittarius? Yeah, but there's a need to loose, loosen your grip. Okay. There's a lot of confusion here. Also, seeing something as worse than it truly is. This has been some kind of coping mechanism, but I feel like someone is maturing out of the out of maybe impulsive behavior, impulsive decisions, or defiance in general. I mean, maybe we do have somebody here who is younger than another individual, literally a child, but um, someone is maturing and growing up nonetheless. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign, Five of Wands showing up again, and we have the Chariot, Cancerian energy. So I feel like we have somebody here who is who is trying to make more practical decisions, okay? Trying to make more practical decisions. It's like I'm done playing games. I'm ready to be determined and focus on my future and be successful. Love it. Okay. Just love it or list it. 
Yeah, two of swords, a hierophant, and a four of cups, all right? It's like I'm not happy here. I'm not happy with what I chose. So it is time to figure out something new, okay? And the death card really is something new. So let's see. What's this death card for Sag? <clears throat> Excuse me. What's this death and rebirth, please, for Sagittarius? There's a new perspective here, okay? There has to be. In order to tap into the death card energy, you have to go through the hangman, right? Which, which provides us with a shift in perspective. It allows us to leave something in the past. It's just, it's just proving to be a little more difficult than um, you'd like it to be. If you will. Yeah, Eight of Cups, okay? Moving forward and leaving something behind that is not emotionally satisfying you. You're realizing this, Sag. It's just, get, it's just it's, I don't know, it's a little difficult, okay? And we'll see why when we tap into the Eight of Swords down there. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I, I have to. Uh, yeah, I do. <sighs> Shit. All right, guys, page of cups, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, eight of wands, five of pentacles and the devil card. So there's a significant relationship showing up here that has, um, how do I say this? It has ran its course. Okay. Could be a romantic relationship, could be um, a job, could be school that someone has been working, working and working and, and trying to get to some kind of <clears throat> level of education and never getting there, could be um, making poor financial choices. Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's been a consistent cycle of getting nowhere in whatever this is, okay? I feel like this is changing. It's coming to it. It's like it can't go any further than this. Someone is realizing this, right? Okay, there needs to be some kind of change. Now, that doesn't have to mean that necessarily someone is dropping out of school or someone is dropping out of a relationship. It simply means that there's a need for a significant change within this foundation. And I'm realizing it wholeheartedly and I'm going to make said change. It's just a matter of how. Okay, knowing how to do this, there could there could literally be some addictions here. Okay. All right, what's the Eight of Swords? Hmm. What's this Eight of Swords? Someone is having difficulty remembering something. Okay, what does that have to do with, well, I guess we'll see. Two of Wands at the bottom. Four of Wands, three of Pentacles, and the Fool card's coming out again. There's, a, there's, there's an issue with accountability here, okay? <laughs> Someone is having an issue remembering something, but it just happened. Yeah, it's weird. It's like as, as fast as something is beginning, it's ending. It's, it's really weird, okay? As fast as something is beginning, it's ending. Someone is hitting rock bottom here. I feel like they've had enough. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's get some final messages of guidance and advice. <clears throat> Versage. Let's say maturity here, all right? 
Could be some gaslighting as well. <sighs> there she is. <laughs> All along, right? We've been waiting for the temperance card and we have the magician as well. Everything I was just saying just now. Manipulation, gaslighting. Okay. It has to do with this remembering thing. Someone is having, I, I, okay, I don't know what that's about. I don't know if we have somebody here who is legit having memory issues, okay, and someone's not believing it or um, or there's a need to figure out how to move forward at, as someone is having, I mean, the only, okay, not the only, but I, I don't know if it's dementia or um, maybe there was some kind of vehicle accident back here with the chariot showing up that caused some kind of conflict or change, you know, significantly changed um, the way that someone went about a certain situation. But there's definitely a need to mature, grow and um, alter whatever's going on here. OK, I feel like someone is realizing that perhaps the decision or path that they chose is not really what it's painting out to be. And something within it needs to change. OK, it's time for whatever this is to evolve. Yeah, Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Beautiful card. It's time for whatever this is to evolve. OK. And again, that does not have to mean that it's coming to an end. There's just a time. It's just time for a significant change and this needs to be communicated. OK. Hmm. All right, Sage. Well, uh, this is the message I have for you. Let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. OK, hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload new content. I love you guys to life and I'll see you next time for the next one. OK.